Good day, folks. I'm out looking around. As you can see, I'm at the back of a field here, right in the tree line. Then there's like a, a little rock um, decline here, and there's it's full of trash. I'm not finding too much too old, though. But there are a bunch of broken blue ball jars and some other interesting mason style jars. Here's a nice manganese glass. Perfect seal uh, food jar. That would have been an oldie. Too bad it's broke. Pulled up a couple more intact ones here. A perfect seal there and a safety seal there. There's all kinds of broken ones. Here's a piece of blue glass. Um, what else we got here? That's just a big slick pop or something. But here's a safety seal in here. A big square one. I don't know if it's whole or not. Let's pull it out and see. Yeah, it is it is complete. Is this? That's a weird looking seam on that. Look how it goes. Cuts across there and then up through that way. Bizarre looking. I, uh, I might take that one. Here's a blue colored bottle here. Let's pull that out. Another mason jar. Okay, that one there looks like a melon's food jar. Worth taking. Oh, another uh, mason jar, perfect seal. Like I say, there's just there's all kinds of broken ones in here. Looks like all the good ones are broke. Oh, I can't get that out. Okay, I'll shut you off for now. I'll get you back up if I find anything worth showing. Hey, folks. I'm out looking around here today for a dump site there's a uh, the roads running right up that way right beyond those trees there there's the road but there's a big there's a cellar hole over that way and uh there was a few bottles in the cellar hole and some metal debris probably from like the 40s but uh like i say there it, that stuff was in the cellar hole so that's not what i'm looking for i'm looking for the older stuff that's going to be up in these woods here somewhere, I'm assuming. So anyways, I got my metal detector and shovel here with me. And I'm going to go uh, scouting around through the woods here. I'll get you back up if I find anything. Now, there's the old uh, well. I nearly stepped right in it. The camera's not really doing it justice. Can't see down in there, but it's all stones. It's a nice uh, round circle. And up around that way, just like that. Oh yeah, it's a deep one. It's probably water is about six feet down, and I don't know how deep it is beyond that. But yeah, look out for that. A little tree frog. There you go. Oh, right there. Okay, so here's a first interesting bit here, folks. Been there for a while. Lots of red ants in it. Looks like a hair tonic bottle or something. And there's the uh, there's a the, the uh, top to it over here. Check it out. It's a cork top, but it's a machine-made one. That's right on a deer trail here, right on a deer path. See where that ground's kind of there's no leaves on it, it's all beat down. That's from the deer traveling on it, right up through there. I can see the path. So they likely probably there's there's scat there too. They probably stepped on that and broke it. So there's there's 
quite possible there's more around here somewhere. I'll keep looking around. Okay, folks, I've been to a couple spots so far today and haven't had much luck, but uh, so I came to this spot here to check this out and a big pile of rocks in there, like big rocks. But I spotted that bucket down in there in between them. See that piece of metal right there? So, this is sort of a reenactment. That's my shovel up in there, too. I've already been up in there, so I come up in. I say this is a reenactment <laughs> so I come up in and I seen some uh, glass and that piece of metal right there as well so I kind of got scraping around and I see there's something down in there that looks whole it's right up here on the top of these rocks so I scrape around a little more and I see something amber right here and I mean if it's whole it's whole and it looks like it's whole and it looks like an, an amber ink let's pop that out Oh, so, oh, it is. It's a blown amber ink. It's a Stafford's ink. Check it out. Check that out. Awesome. That just made my day right there. If I don't find anything else, that's a pretty good... Oh, the lips chipped on it right there. Oh, it's got a lip chip. Still, though, I'm going to be keeping that right on. First good find of the day, really. Okay, so I got this other thing. Seems like it's loose. Like I say, I don't know if it's whole or not. It might be like the base to a, an oil lamp or something. But let's uh, pop it out. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's what it is. Nice embossing all over it, though. That piece there is busted off. Nice embossing though. What is that? Strawberries or something? Oh, there's... Look. There's the ring that goes on the top of it. Neato. I, uh, I might keep that. That's probably going to be end up being manganese glass. Let's see if we get anything else in here. I don't know why this is all up here on the top of these rocks. It's just plowed up, maybe. Nothing in that. Okay, um, I'll get you back up if I find anything else. Well, I'm still in that same general area where I found the amber Stafford zinc. I've been walking around in here for 45 minutes or an hour. There's all kinds of stuff from the 60s and 70s, but that uh, just doesn't interest me at all. If it was the 1860s or 70s, maybe. <laughs> 1960s and 70s? No. But uh, anyways, I just haven't been able to find any concentration of old stuff. Except for that first patch where up on and amongst those uh, big boulders. So anyways, I'm going to take another run back by that location and... I'm going to get out of here, maybe hit another spot. Over and out. I've got something on the surface here. Looks like it's a manganese glass. Maybe a Vaseline. Yep. There it is. And it is a uh, manganese glass one kind of see it there a bit check it out okay I'll keep that one keep walking around right here I guess there's a broken uh, manganese glass warranted flask there's a blown one with a tooled lip. There's the base to it there. Not finding much for hole stuff around here though. I've even dug a few test holes, but still no concentration of uh, anything. 
I'm keep looking around. Well, I've dug around here quite a bit in these rocks, folks. Uh, moved a lot of rocks. I brewed some trees and dug up a bunch of shards. It's all old stuff. Some embossed. That was another big uh, Sanford zinc. There was another manganese glass. Cone ink. I supplied top on that bottle. But uh, no more full ones. So all I got out of the site was these three things right here. There was another manganese ink there. Okay, so that's going to be it for here. What? <laughs>